after a lunch that left a lot to be desired. Chef Ramsay is back at Mike and Nelly's for dinner. Hi there, can I help you? And he isn't alone. What? Word of his arrival is spread, and the restaurant is booked solid for the evening. Free rush beer. What would you like tonight? I'm gonna have the strips. I'll have the chicken scorpiello. Okay. Portobello mushroom with jumbo lump. Sun-dried artichoke, Alfredo, shrimp farm. Just tell me quickly how it works, line-wise. Here's what happens, Chef. They do all the cooking and then they'll put the food out. I don't trust my staff to get the job done like I can do it. As long as I'm making it, I know it's 100%. Yeah, I got snapper, pork, and pepper. I got penny vodka. I got chicken farm. All right. Despite the fact that most of the cooking is being done by one person. Shrimp farm, eggplant farm. Give me 14. All right. Mike manages to push out food rapidly. Shrimp farm? Not at all, baby. Shrimp friend. Lobster rev. All right, take this and go. But his quick cooking. Wow. Look at this food. Unfortunately, comes at a cost. No good. No yeah. good at all. There's something wrong with your bag, Hi. Bread's falling off. Let's okay. take it back. Yeah. Let them know. Hey, Hey guys, the fried calamari, just let you know, it was mushy, it wasn't good, they didn't enjoy it. Just give you a heads up on that. Hey, sorry. I taste nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. It's embarrassing. There's a man in there that is killing himself, and he's going down in flames. There's no standard set. Everything's just so chaotic. Pans have been thrown, steaks are on fire, and he's sort of totally oblivious to the kind of crap that's leaving his kitchen. It's actually quite sad. What's wrong with that? It's overcooked. All right. This eggplant rollatini. She says it's the worst eggplant she ever had. It's not even rolled. <laughs> Mike, let's say it was burnt. It's hard to bring food back to Mike because Mike thinks the food is excellent. I know he's been cooking for 30 years, but the food is really not up to par. Onions are a little charcoal. Are they a little too well done for you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me take them away and bring some fresh ones for you. All right, sir. Thank you so much. Since Nellie's passed, the kitchen is a disaster. What's wrong now? Too well, too burnt. The food is not what it used to be. It's extremely frustrating. Mike, can I get more charred onions, but not too burnt, please? Charred onions, please. Charred onions. Mike, there's char on this charcoal. You're absolutely correct. That's charcoal. I need a charred onion right now. On the outside, Mike is really not showing any kind of emotions, but if you look into his eyes, you see this heartbreak, this beating that he's taking internally. It's depressing. How's everything going back there? Yeah. Disaster. Disaster. Does your dad work like that every night? Yeah. But he's destroying himself. I mean, he's just absolutely nailing himself. If he doesn't delegate as well as he should. Like, he's reading the ticket, and then he's getting it ready, and then he's cooking it, and then he's reading another order, and it's hard to watch, yeah. How are you supposed to run an entire restaurant, cook everybody's meal by yourself? Like, you can't do that. Hot stuff coming through. He doesn't really trust anybody else in the kitchen to help him, and it's a problem. Mike. Yes? I need to worry about that uh, refire on Penny Vodka. Hold on a minute, girlfriend. I'm going as fast as I can, baby. You all right? I want this night to be over. Here's a Penny Vodka. Take it, go. All the tickets are out. There's nothing left. All right, guys. Beers for everybody. Go grab them, man. One for me, too, right? I'm lost of words. Watching both of you behind the line in that kind of commotion there, it's like soldiers on the front line. In your mind, you've got it now that if you get through this battle, tonight's a success. You just want to get that food out. Do you enjoy cooking like that? I don't know if I enjoy it, it's just like what I do. But I mean, I bust my ass. I cook until we're done cooking. Working hard is one thing. Working fast and throwing food out with no care is another. No one's monitoring standards and no one seems to care. You are running yourself into the ground. Dan, can I have a word with Yeah. Yes, sir. Will you shut the door, please? Certainly. Listen, seriously, have you been drinking? I'm having a vodka cranberry juice. I saw you drinking some beer. Uh, two beers, sir. Two sorry. beers. Two beers. That is not the way forward. You've got to get your head in the game because the kind of mistakes that you made tonight 
represents a chef that doesn't seem to give a shit. I do give a shit. I do. I listen. I drink too much, you know. But why I'm, are you doing I this to yourself? I, I don't know.